can see that many a keen rambler has walked through here recently. The peat is the diary of the moor, where the footsteps of a thousand journeys are scribed into the black. We humans really do have an impact on our soils. But having our impact as a researcher is a little more difficult. We can't just leave our mark like wellies in the peat because there's, well, so many wellies, there's so many researchers and very little peat. So how do we go about achieving genuine research impact? Well, I've been chatting to Mark Reed from Fast Track Impact. Mark is an international award-winning research professor who specialises in social innovation, research impact and stakeholder participation in agri-food systems. But when he's not making his impact himself, he trains researchers around the world about how they can make their ideas change the way we live. He was a guest at the BS Cubed ECR last year and he's very generously agreed to be a contributor to this monthly podcast. So here is Mark Reed with his tip for January. Okay, so a lot of people ask me why should I do research impact? Why should I get engaged with people beyond my, my research? Um, and I think very often what's behind that is, well, effectively, what's in it for me? Uh, and uh, a lot of PhD students, actually, surprisingly, have come to me recently uh, and have said, well, you have to do impact as part of your PhD now in the UK, don't you? And you get judged on that in your PhD. Um, and I would actually argue, well, no, you don't. Um, your supervisors uh, may be under some pressure to do this and they may pass that pressure on to you. Um, but actually, this is not something that you have to do as a PhD student. Um, and uh, you cannot fail your PhD on the basis that you didn't do impact. So I can dispel that myth uh, immediately. Uh, and if you're not a PhD um, uh, student uh, and you are uh, an academic member of staff in the UK, uh, then again, you don't have to do impact. Um, uh, only a small proportion of us um, will have to get submitted um, to the government's seven yearly review of research excellence and impact, the research excellence framework. Um, and actually the majority of us can just do our research without having to do impact. Uh, and for me, that's a really important point because the question that I want to ask people back is, well, why would you want to engage with research impact? And really why? Uh, and actually, I think that what we need to be doing is to be tapping into our intrinsic motivations for why we do what we do, why we are a researcher, rather than the extrinsic motivation of, well, my PhD supervisor told me I have to do this, uh, or my institution is telling me I have to do this because it will earn us money and reputation and ranking. Uh, and those are reasons why people engage in impact. Um, but my question is, are they the right reasons? Uh, and I would suggest that if they are extrinsic to you, then they may not be the right reasons. And if you do impact for the wrong reasons, then actually things very often end up going wrong and people see through it. So what is it that motivates you as a researcher? For me, fundamentally, I do what I do because I want to make a difference. I believe that through the research that we do, we can change the world. But actually, that's a fairly small proportion of people who actually would say that is their prime motivation. It might be there in the mix, but it's not the prime motivation. And for most researchers, it is actually curiosity. Uh, most people simply are fascinated. They're curious. They want to know. They want to be on that cutting edge, to be the first person to discover whatever it is. Uh, and I would argue that if that is you, then... Uh, ask yourself what might motivate that curiosity if you engage in research impact. What crazy things you might you understand, might you discover if you started to go beyond the academy? What weird and wonderful questions might you be asked that you don't know the answer to that actually get you thinking and actually lead you down new and fascinating routes that actually uh, satiate that, that thirst for new knowledge and, and that curiosity? And in my experience, if you do this for the right reasons, whatever those reasons may be, uh, then actually you end up doing something that genuinely makes a difference, that is lasting and that has meaning and that actually gives something back to you as well.